And to do that, let me introduce you to somebody who you probably already remember, Brian Yoon, the head of OnePlus's creative department and a world-class designer by trade. Hey, Brian. Hi, Ryan. Uh, thank you for your great introduction. You've been with OnePlus for a very long time now, and you know the ins and outs of our approach to design. I'm curious to get your thoughts on the design details of the OnePlus 8T. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, the design is extremely important to users because it expresses your individuality. And then, but not all manufacturers, you know, pay much attention to it. Yeah. Uh, when they compromise on design just to fit a bunch of components in, into the phone, right? But um, it really impacts the way a user feels about the product. Yeah, think about when you walk into a store and you see all the different options out there. The design really has to stand out. Exactly. Uh, but it's more than just how the phone looks. Uh, the way it feels in your hand is also really important. Yeah. So let me ask you one question. Uh, do you know how many times per day an average user pick up their phone? I don't know, maybe 25 or 30? Uh, not really. More than 80 times per day. 80? Wow. Yeah. Whatever you hold more than 80 times per day in your hand, then it must be very comfortable when you hold it every time. And it must be really lightweight too. We got the OnePlus 8T down to 188 grams, which is pretty impressive considering everything that's inside this phone. Yeah, exactly. So weight is the one of the most important factors that gives you a better feeling in your hand. But we're not just trying to minimize the weight. Uh, what we are trying to do is to find a sort of right balance between you know how we performance less burdensome weight. And also the texture and the grip is yeah, really exactly. important. Yeah, right. So it sounds like very simple, but actually it is not. So I cannot tell you all the secrets we have, but I would say at least 13 points we have to uh, consider when we design the back curvature. Mm. And then it must be adjusted, modified, improved very, very carefully. Yeah, I've seen some of the design process myself, and I've got to say it's really amazing to see all the different iterations and the attention that we pay to the details. And it's not a simple process. In fact, it's really complex. So can you give us a bit of behind the scenes insight into what goes on when we're designing a product like the OnePlus 8T? Okay, sure. Uh, let me tell you a quick story. So after we finished the very first prototype of the OnePlus 8T, uh, we were quite proud of ourselves because we made a very thin phone, which is 9mm at the moment. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So we brought it to Pete, our CEO, and then we showed it to him, right? And then what he said is, guys, this is too thick, make it thinner. Mm. And then we had to repeat this couple of more rounds to make it thinner. The difference between the first prototype and the last one was only 0.6 millimeter. Mm, so yeah. now it is 8.4 millimeter thick. And uh, Pete was very happy with that. And um, it's because he, he believed that this kind of tiny difference can make a huge improvement, especially when it's in your hand. And that's really what we mean by never settle. Keep working, keep tweaking, keep iterating until you get everything just right. Now, as a smartphone user, you might not think that something as small as just 0.6 millimeters makes that much of a difference, but it really does impact how we use our phones every day. It is, yeah. And there are three other things that really matter as well. Color, material, and finish, or as we like to call it, CMF. Now, all this had to come together just right to make the OnePlus 8T look and feel so good. Yes, that is right, but uh, you may not know how good this is before you hold and try it in your hand. So uh, to help more people to understand how good this is, uh, I would take this example. Do you remember the slick white version of OnePlus One before? Of course, how could I forget? Yeah, so I, I would say that the texture of the OnePlus 8T this time feels like a silky smooth back of the silk white version of OnePlus One. Yeah, you know, actually I had the classic sandstone black edition of the OnePlus One, and I just remember though the first time that I uh, felt the OnePlus One Silk White Edition, and I was just amazed by that texture. Mm -hmm. And now with the OnePlus 8T, it's really impressive that we've gotten glass to have that same kind of a texture. Yeah, right. And the colors of the 8T are really something else as well. So this time we have two options, aquamarine green and, uh, and the lunar silver that you're holding. Yes, right. The color is probably the most individualistic expression of the product preference. Uh, the green one, that one, it has the special film on it, so it reflects the light and it's glossy. Yeah. And this one is matte frosted. So we gave you two options. It's because some of us prefer to have more flashier and glossy material. Yeah. Some of us prefer more of the subtle materials to use. So I want to ask you that, uh, which one will you go for? I'll tell you what, 
Generally, I'm a matte frosted kind of person because I'm not a big fan of the fingerprints on the back of a glossy phone. Mm -hmm. um, but with the OnePlus 8T, this aquamarine green edition this time, the way that we designed it basically eliminates that fingerprint magnet issue. Uh, so this time, I think I'm going to go with the green. I think that's a good choice. Uh, I would say the CMF of the OnePlus 8T both are amazing. Yeah. This time. This is incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, Brian, thank you so much for talking to us about the design of the OnePlus 8T. You're very welcome.